Okay, so everybody awake still? Okay, stand up, sit down, raise your hands. Um, first, I'd like to thank the uh, DWC for having this event again today. And I've had the pleasure on a number of occasions to come and be able to both introduce myself, speak before you before. So I'm not going to necessarily belabor you with my background all the way again. Um, I will, however, re-mention the fact that I do have 16 years of elected experience to travel with me from Illinois, uh, starting on a school board for four years, alderman for the city of Lockport for six, and finishing before we moved to the wonderful state of Florida, uh, six years as a Will County board member and forest preserve commissioner. So some of what I've done in the past obviously translates very well to what we have here. We have the same issues. Here is what we have back in that cold, cold state in the wintertime. Uh, when people say to me, okay, well, it rains all the time in Florida, so, but at least you don't have to shovel it. So that's a plus. That's definitely a plus. Um, another thing that I do want to make sure that I do today is reach out to Jim and say thank you very much for the paper that you and your committee put together as far as single member districts. Um, it is one of the key things that we have to make sure that we continue to address and try and make happen. Um, as you know, my committee rates for a county commissioner. We are not single member districts. I'm running as a county commissioner for District 5, which takes in Lehigh Acres, where I'm proud to say I live, Alva, Tice, Buckingham, North Fort Myers. However, when it comes to the actual election itself, it is county-wide. So regardless of where you live in Lee County, you can vote for me. Um, the other thing that I do want to also point out with regard to that, you will not see my name on the ballot this August in the primary. You will see my name as a qualified candidate in the November election. All right. Yay. And I appreciate all of the help and dedication that members here and all the club clubs have given me to get me to this point. Now, some of the things that we have going on here in Lee County that really need to be focused on, we have three major issues, which if we don't have... That one's turned on, I think. Yeah, right. Is it? Um, the three major issues, water quality, which I know our candidates that came before me have already brought up. This issue, obviously, it didn't happen overnight and it's not going to be cured overnight. However, we need to continue not only at a local level to address these issues, uh, but also lobbying at the state level to get things done and also at the federal level. We can't do it alone. Voices do matter when it comes to this. Uh, secondary to that, we have transportation. And when I say transportation, there's two different parts to this. When it comes to infrastructure improvements, being your roadways and so forth, and then in addition to that, your physical modality. So that's getting the person in a vehicle from here to there, and again, tying back to the needs of our, our senior citizens and also our disabled population. If I look at my own community, Lehigh Acres, we have very limited ADA transportation available. They will only go up to three quarters of a mile from any fixed route. And it makes it very difficult. And then the last thing um, on my top three issues is economic development. And your economic development comes into play when you think of providing those sustainable jobs. Not just a job for a short time, sustainable jobs that provide a livable wage. Now there's another side to economic development, I have one minute, um, which is going to tie actually back to what we have for our school board candidates. So county commission at our end, back in 2008, our in, impact fees were reduced down to 20%. I understand the rationale behind, you know, why they did it then. The economy was obviously in the tank at the time. Um, about a year ago, they did raise those impact fees to 45%. We're not hitting that time in our economy, though, where there's no reason why those should not be increased back to 100%. And that is something that I would definitely fight for. Um, as I have been told, um, our school board 
basically they they've lost probably in this time period there's been about twenty million dollars left on the table because of the loss of impact fees so again we need to concentrate on that everything comes i love your duck very cute okay i'm going to open it up to questions um if you want to go ahead and tag on to anything that i've already mentioned so we can continue sean i have two brief questions sure one um do you support raising the minimum wage in Absolutely. lee county would you introduce that as legislation in the county commission okay this is one of those things that is not necessarily a county issue this is something that's actually passed down from the state to us certainly one of the things that's going to have to be looked at too with an increase in your minimum wage is to make sure that there's resources available for those businesses so they don't go under as a result of it because with increased wages there's additional taxes which are paid and then benefits hopefully that are still providing provided to those employees and you don't want to necessarily give on one side being a raise in a wage and then take it back away for a benefit and my second question is since you're you would be representing lehigh do you have I can't think of a road project in this county that is more urgently needed to be done than widening State Road 82. It creates this massive bottleneck in and out of Lehigh coming and going. But it's, as I understand it, not scheduled to be done for some years still. No. Would you advocate <clears throat> moving this project, road project, up and trying to focus on getting the widening of 82 done sooner rather than later? I think we can advocate for it. It is in the plan right now from what I understand. Um, there's also some soil issues um, that come into play too because they also have to um, actually build up the ground and then there's a settling process that takes place with that also before they can actually do the grading and so forth. Um, if there's funds that are available, absolutely. Um, I understand for the 2017 uh, budget coming up, they are proposing $1.3 million for Lehigh Acres. Now, to the normal person's ears, 1.3 is a lot of money. However, that will basically take care of, uh, yeah, exactly. Some potholes, some patching, very little else to be done. And I'm gonna qualify this too by saying, if you look at the actual job of what a county commissioner does, you have policy and legislation, you have oversight, budgetary oversight as far as departments and services, and then you have that direct municipal oversight over your unincorporated areas. And if we look at Lehigh, Sean, you've got an area which is about 95 square miles and closely approaching 100,000 residents. We need more. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I want to thank you for your very uh, gracious comments about the issues today. Obviously, Kelly and Christine are here, Jan and Nancy. Can everybody stand up and be recognized, please? Because I, I know there, there are a lot of hours that went into this. And this, this paper was so well articulated. I'd like, um, I'd like to also recognize Kelly, who in the midst of planning a wedding is asked to step off of the, uh, off of the committee, uh, but she again was uh, part and parcel of the paper. But I have another question. Uh, the paper not only addressed or tried to address uh, moving away from at-large district-wide elections for county commission, it also advocated for a redistricting map that was proposed by the NAACP in September 2015. It's my understanding that's going to be back in front of the commission, I mean in front of the school board. Okay. But assuming the school board does move to the NAACP approach, depending okay. the details and the public review, uh, to improving fairness and districting for the school board, 
Do you think that that districting approach should also be considered by the Lee County Commission? I think it should be considered. Now, one of the things, though, that I will say, I'm not necessarily in favor of the hybrid, even for county commission, because, again, I believe it disproportionately allows those larger, more affluent communities to have a say over who goes in. So you have multiple representation from one area. That's not really my question. What I'm asking specifically is if the school board changes its map, the districting law, could it work for the county? In the five districts, let's assume single-member districts, is that something you would consider supporting on the part of the county commission? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The basic premise behind it is having like-type communities adjacent to each other, like-type ethnicities and groups. So it makes a lot of sense. It just makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Again, like every other candidate who's been up here, I love your support. I'm asking for your support. If you have the ability, yes, our campaign, just like every other one, could use the money and the volunteers. So thank you so much, and I will see you again next month. Thank you. 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 Thank you